Thank you very much, D-Man. Congratulations, and rated What a victory here versus the first place team. Um, talk me through the end phase of that game. Incredibly close, culminating all in that Baron. Well, one time they even tried to sneak Baron. I think it was like they almost got away with that. Um, they are a very strong opponent. They know what they're doing, and it was very hard to play like the, the late game against them. I feel right now they're kind of on their peak, like they're playing really well and they also were on a winning streak, so coming into this match we just went with all preparation we had and just did the best we could and we won. Talk me through how vital that Kog'Maw ban turned out to be in the end, because I feel like that would have been the only thing in their late game comp that could have made you guys lose maybe. Well, I feel like right now, um, because of Candy, Candy got very fat and Tubbs didn't, so he had a lot more impact. So the main key factor of them was the poke that Xerath offered. And as long as we evaded that poke, we could have had a team fight. But it was very hard to push them in because they had Kragas and Xerath, so everything slowed down. And we had a long, long like break phase where we were trying to establish vision control around Baron, but couldn't really get it. And we managed to sneak it in the end, so that was our point. And they stole it, the last one. but. Besides that, we just won the game because we had a lot more on teamfight potential and our AD carry was way more fat than theirs. Yeah, and you finally managed to beat out the Riven jungle from Shook. That's also a feat. Um, let me ask you how you guys are gearing up for playoffs because obviously it's a very different season than what you guys have done last season around you and the second after the playoffs. Now, kind of a split full of ups and downs. Well, it was kind of up and down for sure. We started off very good, but we didn't put as much preparation in as we could have. And I feel like we stepped up in terms of practice a lot, especially now for Super Weekend playoffs. We just played as much as we could and we talked about the game and we just kind of figured out what we wanted to do in every scenario. And it kind of helps us being in, in shape and being in our comfort zone and just playing our game. And that's what you're seeing right now, just playing our game and trying to do what we can. It shows and it is scary. You've taken down Alliance, the first place team. Later up, you're facing Fnatic, the second place team. Talk me through the importance of that game for you. I feel Fnatic is kind of unpredictable in some cases. Some cases they are predictable. We're trying to get advantage of those. Um, we had, we have, we have made our preparation for those matches as well. So we're coming to this, we, we feel secure. We know what we're doing. And if everything goes like we expect it to go, then we can have the upper hand. I think it's going to be a very good matchup. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, all of our alts are on cooldown, so we have to back off for just a minute. But when we come back, Gambit takes on Millennium. Stay put.